forward for Cooper Junction. And look, everybody's got a view about Cooper Junction. <laughs> and it's, I haven't been around here too long, so I don't want to sound like a bit of a smart ass, but you know, the, uh, I think with old shopping centres, strips, if you're going to get anywhere, you have to have an idea, a vision, a concept as to what you can do. And that's what fundamentally we did with the health associated uh, services that we put together. Often people run to council and government, and whilst I'm not underestimating the importance in respect to infrastructure and services, I've never seen a council or government come up with a retail or service concept to breathe life into depressed or debilitated strips that are farming. It's no disrespect to our elected officials. They're not elected to do that. But I do find in my experience, both in business and politics, that when there's a problem or something's not working, people don't seem to want to sit down and work something out themselves. They seem to want to be running off to the government or the council. In this sense, we all know uh, how powerful the, the new shopping complexes have become. And we ourselves are located in most of these shopping goliaths around, around Australian community. Not because we particularly like being there, but that's where the people are. However, things are changing and there is a, a monotony developing in some of the centres. It's becoming more difficult to park a car. The car par ease of car parking was the fundamental reason why the big shopping centres were so attractive originally so go there and get a car park. If you look at strips, I, I think if any of you are, if you haven't been down and done this, well, Melbourne's a great city. Uh, it's the home of the strips. It's the home of retail innovation. And they've done a heck of a lot down there with old strips, whether some of you would, might know of Chapel Street, and Turak Road, and Swan Road, or Morven, and so forth. All these uh, old uh, strips have been re... They've had life uh, breathed into them. They've attracted. It's a bit like you're seeing a bit of it in the valley there as you go up Ann Street there. You're seeing some bit, up, bit out on the edge uh, fashion, young people getting into there. You're seeing things happening in, in James Street. So I think looking at what's successful in other places, in particular uh, Melbourne, would be well worthwhile having a look at it, those of you who haven't taken the trouble as yet. Uh, they're now doing interesting things with the laneways. You, you, I don't know whether you know Melbourne laneways, but they time you walk along and uh, well now they put some light, holes in the wall, little bars, uh, you know, very attractive. Landlords are getting rent out of the back lane, which they never ever dreamt 